My name is Jens Ludwig. I'm a professor at the University of Chicago and Pritzker director of the University of Chicago Crime Lab. I'm a researcher. I use data and the tools of data science to try and help policymakers figure out how to reduce the burden of gun violence in America and reduce the harms from the criminal justice system. We're used to thinking about the harms of crime as being sort of directly proportional to the number of crimes. So there were something like three or 400,000 fewer serious crimes in the United States from 2019 to 2020, partly related to the pandemic. But one tiny part of the crime problem, murder, increased, or tiny from a numbers perspective increased. There were about 5,000 more murders in the United States in 2020 relative to 2019, something like a 30% increase. We often lose sight of the fact that the quote crime problem in the United States is really not a crime problem so much as a gun violence problem. Murder in particular has really serious consequences even for the people who are not victimized. And partly that is things like kids growing up in neighborhoods who are um, surrounded by lots of gun violence. We can see that they underperform in school. We can see that they're at greatly elevated risk for mental health problems. When murders increase, much more so than with any other crime, when murders go up, we can see that people fundamentally change the way they live their lives. Uh, people stay inside their homes. People move outside of impacted neighborhoods. Cities like New York, the United States in general, we have uh, way more gun violence and way more in people in prison than any other, certainly any other rich country in the world. And I think one of the ways that we've gotten to that point is we don't prioritize enough policy attention to worrying about gun violence specifically. And so the amount of gun violence we have is higher than it really needs to be. And so one of the things that we're hoping comes out of this article and our work more generally is to get society to be more focused on what's really generating the social harm from crime, which is gun violence, um, which then gives us some room to reduce some of the harms from the criminal justice system for less serious crimes. We're at a, a point in time where I think People can clearly see that policing the way it's been done for the last few hundred years is not right for, for modern society. What I'd love to see is New York City take a leadership role and demonstrate to the rest of the country and the rest of the world you know, what fair policing but also effective policing that, that reduces gun violence, especially in the most disadvantaged communities of color, like what that what that looks like. To really understand that the crime problem in New York, it's, it's not really a crime problem, it's a gun violence problem specifically.